Governor Gavin Newsom today ordered an investigation into problems with water pressure local firefighters face as they tried to fight the Palisades fire. It's part of a bigger debate over water supplies during massive wildfires like those in Southern California, including the use of fire hydrants. Now, ABC 10's Roxana Elias took some of those questions about fire hydrants to local fire officials. Roxanne, how are they responding tonight? Well, Laura, the truth is there's so much more to these fire hydrants here. We've been learning about them all day long, and the reality is there's more to it than just hooking up a hose here and having an endless supply of water. You're going to see a, a color change in the water, so typically it's going to come out kind of rusty brown. Following the wildfires in Southern California, many have questioned how fire hydrants actually work. David Acuna, a battalion chief with Cal Fire, says it depends on its water source. Fire hydrants have to have a source. Uh, in some cases, it's an uh, underground source. Sometimes it's uh, a water treatment plant, and sometimes it's a tank. Uh, my understanding is up in the Pacific Palisades area, they have tanks. Acuna says when the water comes down, it's either pressurized or gravity fed, which means it's up on a hill. But because the water supply in the L.A. area is held in tanks, the water supply is limited. And they're only designed to fight a fire at a couple of homes, not an entire wildfire. It's a finite resource. So although, uh, you know, a million gallons is a lot of water, if you divide a million gallons by 5,000 homes, all using water at 250 gallons a minute, uh, that's well over the capacity of that tank. And it takes time for those pumps to refill, making it not readily available. Here at home, Captain Justin Silvia with the Sacramento Fire Department says the city's water source for fire hydrants is different. Our water is pumped through all of the um, city resources around, all the water treatment plants. Those are what's going to start taking water from the river systems and putting it into the domestic lines for these fire hydrants. Fire hydrants are color coded depending on how much water they can produce. Red is 500 gallons per minute or less. Orange means 101 gallons up to 1,000 gallons per minute. Our hydrant system is very well maintained. We pretty much have endless water with our river systems and our water treatment plants that flow this water through the system. Cal Fire says another thing to consider is a lot of these water lines were exposed when these homes burned down, making it easier for water to leak out and harder for these tanks to retain that water. I'm live in Sacramento. Roxanne Elias, ABC 10. Roxanne, very informative. I have to say very detailed and a great explainer on the inner workings of these life-saving tools. Roxanne Elias, thank you.